If you've been looking for natural ways to boost your blood flow and enhance your erections, you've likely come across L-arginine and L-citrulline. But which one is better? L-arginine and L-citrulline are frequently promoted as potent nitric oxide boosters, but do they truly enhance erectile function? In this video, we will explore the scientific evidence behind these two supplements and evaluate which one may be more effective in addressing erectile dysfunction. My goal in this video is to provide you with a comprehensive review of the research and findings on L-arginine and L-citrulline, so you can make an informed decision, because at the end of this video, you'll get to know which one among these does your body needs. So, let's get started without any further delay. L-arginine and L-citrulline are both amino acids that help increase nitric oxide production, which relaxes blood vessels and improves circulation. Well, let me explain this one by one. Let's start with L-arginine. This amino acid is converted into nitric oxide in the body, and as we know, nitric oxide plays a crucial role in the process of erections. Nitric oxide works by relaxing the smooth muscles in the blood vessels of the penis, allowing them to dilate, which improves blood flow, essential for achieving and maintaining an erection. When you take L-arginine, you essentially increase the availability of nitric oxide, which in turn boosts cyclic GMP a molecule that helps sustain an erection by enhancing blood flow and vasodilation. For individuals with erectile dysfunction, the problem is often a lack of nitric oxide production, particularly in those with vascular issues like diabetes, heart disease, or atherosclerosis. Studies have shown that people with low levels of L-arginine are more likely to experience erectile dysfunction. One key meta-analysis of 10 randomized controlled trials examined daily doses of L-arginine, ranging from 2.5 to 8 grams in men with mild to moderate ED. The results were promising, showing significant improvements in erectile function compared to a placebo. So, what does the science say? Well, a recent double-blind placebo-controlled trial looked at the effects of L-arginine in men with mild to moderate ED. Participants took 5 grams per day for 3 months and saw substantial improvements in the International Index of Erectile Function, a gold standard questionnaire used to assess erectile function. The study also measured peak systolic velocity, which evaluates blood flow into the penis. Interestingly, 24% of the men who took L-arginine reported no ED after the study period. Okay, so who should take L-arginine? Well, best for men who need immediate short-term effects, pre-workout or pre-sex boost. Furthermore, it can be effective when combined with other nitric oxide boosters like pycnogenol or citrulline. And if we talk about the dosages, ideal dosage is like three to six grams per day, preferably taken with food. Side effects are typically mild but can include headaches, low blood pressure, and GI disturbances. People with cardiovascular diseases or diabetes may benefit the most. Who should not take L-arginine? Well, if you have asthma or allergies, L-arginine could worsen your symptoms. It can also interact with blood pressure medications and cause liver dysfunction in some cases. Also, the main drawback with L-arginine is its poor bioavailability. This means the body breaks it down quickly, so you may need to take it multiple times a day for it to be effective. All right, now let's talk about L-citrulline. Unlike L-arginine, L-citrulline is more bioavailable. This means it's better absorbed by the body, and it gets converted into L-arginine in the kidneys. In fact, research has shown that L-citrulline is more effective at increasing blood levels of L-arginine than L-arginine supplements themselves partly because it bypasses the enzymes in the intestines and liver that break down the amino acid. Interestingly, L-citrulline may also help improve blood vessel function by stimulating the release of vascular endothelial growth factor, which promotes the growth and repair of blood vessels. This could be especially beneficial for restoring healthy blood flow to the penis, particularly in men with mild erectile dysfunction. A study published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine found that L-citrulline supplementation led to significant improvements in erection hardness compared to L-arginine. While the data on L-citrulline isn't as extensive as for L-arginine, again, 
A study published in Urology looked at the effects of L-citrulline on 25 men with mild erectile dysfunction. These men were not completely unable to get an erection, rather, they had trouble achieving satisfactory rigidity. The study found that when the participants took 1.5 grams of L-citrulline, divided into two doses for one month, nearly half of them experienced an improvement in erectile hardness. On the other hand, only 2% of the placebo group showed similar results. This suggests that L-citrulline could be an effective supplement for men with mild ED. Okay, so, who should take L-citrulline? It's best for men looking for long-term sustained blood flow improvements. In fact, it's especially effective for men with mild erectile dysfunction. Again, like arginine, it can be effective when combined with other NO boosters. By the way, you can combine arginine and citrulline together as well for best results. The ideal dosage is, like 1.5 to 3 grams, or 5 to 7 grams of citrulline malate per day. And you know the good thing is, like L-arginine, L-citrulline appears to have few side effects. So, how do these two supplements compare? Both L-arginine and L-citrulline have been shown to improve erectile function, but they work in slightly different ways. L-arginine directly increases nitric oxide production, which is essential for blood vessel dilation, while L-citrulline works by increasing L-arginine levels in the body, offering a more sustained release and better bioavailability. If you have more severe ED or underlying cardiovascular conditions, L-arginine may be more beneficial, particularly at higher doses, 6 grams per day. However, if you have mild ED or are looking for a supplement with better absorption, L-citrulline might be the better option for you. Okay, so to sum it up, both L-arginine and L-citrulline have shown promise in treating erectile dysfunction, with L-arginine being backed by more extensive research. If you're dealing with mild to moderate ED, L-citrulline may be an effective and more bioavailable option. But for those with more severe issues or underlying cardiovascular health concerns, L-arginine may provide greater benefits. Always consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new supplement, especially if you have any pre-existing conditions or are on medication. So, you guys tell me, L-arginine or L-citrulline, which one will you try? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more science-backed health tips. Thanks for watching.